talk uh, welcome to this video and this is a complex problem i can do this problem in one uh, or two four lines in a very standard manner but at first i want to explain you this question remember this is the only channel in the country where you will find solutions which no one will explain you right this is the only channel no channel will give you explanation of the solution so let's first understand this question very nicely unless we understand the meaning of this question we will not be able to you know really appreciate what is happening i can do this in a straight forward manner and I, I i know you would have seen a lot of uh, solutions on youtube also which makes sense but i'll tell you you cannot explain it uh, the way i will explain it so just listen to this very carefully and understand the whole context so you have a image of a small electric bulb on a wall right you you can see there are, there are bulbs on your wall and in a room and it, the image is to be obtained in opposite which is 3 meters away right so you have a situation where you have a wall and another wall and you have a bulb and you want to create an image here which means you know so you create an image here what you want to use is a convex lens to achieve this right so convex lens what does it do convex lens job is to bend the light right bending the light bending the light and how does it bend it converges so it converges right so which means the light will go and you know pass and it will converge right it will converge at a point this is what you want to achieve but the problem is it says what is the you know it what is the maximum possible focal length of the lens required for the purpose now this is what i'm referring to this is very important to understand okay and and now i will tell you something before i start the solution you know mathematically solve it like a robo and finish it off i would like to first explain you what do i what does the question mean imply so for that i will take you to something which is a bit complicated but listen to it very carefully or and try to understand it it is a bit complicated but you will be able to understand it finally so let's say you have a situation and memorize this graph okay so if you have you know v plus u so i hope you know 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f this is our formula for the you know the lens formula so to say so this is the lens formula which every student understands right and we will use this formula to solve the problem but what i'm doing is i'm giving you additional point for your knowledge if you draw a graph of v plus u versus u now there is something called as a con concept of minimum distance right what is the meaning of the word minimum distance it means if you have a wall and another wall right and then you have a object you have a you know a convex lens and you have the image so this is your object and this is the image right so there is a concept of minimum distance which would be between the object and the image so this minimum distance referred to is between object and the image right this is the concept we are studying why are we studying this concept because this is the concept which will help you understand this question i can solve this question in you know four lines but i will not unless i make you understand what is happening the concept of minimum distance is if you you know keep on uh, changing the position of the object you know which is what we are doing we keep on changing the position of the object and we measure the minimum distance what we find is a graph would look something like this okay which means there is a minima uh, which happens the minimum distance between the object and image happens right at this point okay this is the minimum distance being referred to so you keep on changing uh, you know the uh, the object distance and the image distance which is the sum of these two but you you ultimately you know what you find out that there is a minimum distance you know at which the image gets created right so if the if this distance you know if you measure this distance this distance comes out to be v plus u is equal to 4f okay now i'm not doing derivation i want you to learn this up the minimum distance this which i marked you know so this is the minimum right so if you see this graph this graph may have multiple points on it right which is sum of v plus u which is this v plus u the distance between the two walls in our numerical and then you what you do you adjust u and you can see you know this graph will take you in this direction but there will be a minima of v plus u which is required and this minima the minimum distance you know which is required for creation of an image why do what are we referring to v plus u in terms of focal length okay i'm not doing derivation i want you to memorize this okay we will do derivation sometime later it's not very difficult it's a straight forward derivation don't worry about it if if your minimum distance goes below this right which means if you go below this point so if this point is a which is the min, which represents the v plus u minima okay if this represents v plus u minima if your distance goes below that you will find no image right you can see the u goes up the u there is no u here right the graph has not gone like this there is no u here the u so u u doesn't exist if this minimum distance is violated which means if you reduce if you have a if you have a lens of focal length f and you have a you know some question where you want the minimum distance to be calculated for image creation that minimum distance you have to straight away write as v plus u is equal to 4f if you are given a lens of focal length f you want an image creation then the necessary condition for image creation is that the minimum distance between the object and the image has to be v plus u if this distance is not met this minimum distance equal to 4f is not available to you no image is possible which means if you have a situation where your you know focal length is 20 cm the minimum distance you need between the object and the image has to be 80 cm if you do not have this distance available right which is this is for example 80 cm right you cannot create an image on the other side of the wall you need this 
80 centimeter distance for you to be able to create an image. Otherwise, you will not be able to create an image, which means converge the image. How does it, how did we arrive at this? Don't worry about it at this stage. We will definitely do a derivation of this concept at a later stage, but see this graph very carefully, right? This is the graph, you know, which is very useful for you to solve these questions. And therefore you will find in a lot of applications and websites and portals. Some, you know, someone, someone just writing, we know that, you know, this is what, what happens. And, and then of course, this is one condition that you've got to know. And the second condition is the V is equal to U is equal to 2F is the condition for the maximum focal length, maximum focal length. We can do a derivation right away, but don't worry about it. This is another thing, which means you should be keeping the uh, object distance and image distance equal, which means the lens has to be in middle, right? Just v, this is your U, this is your V. They are equal. They are equal, right? So V and U are equal and both are equal to 2F and 2A. So you have to memorize these two equations. One is this, the moment you hear something like a maximum focal length, you know, and you see there is a situation of minimum distance, you know, between the to which is object and the image immediately start applying the concept of minimum distance which i have just explained to you right i know i have not gone into a lot of detail in terms of derivation but now i will solve this problem and solving this problem or doing a derivation is straight away it's a straight process it's it's not complicated at all so don't worry about you know, the fact that how did you get this you know but, but i will give you a glimpse of how did you get this what was more important for me was to make you understand that there is something like a graph which exists for v plus u and you, this is your object distance, okay? And you can do the same thing for, a, you know, same. You can do a V graph also, which is V plus U. So V plus U is the minimum distance. I hope the concept is clear to you. Now what I will do is, you know, after making you understand this, I will solve this problem. Let's read the question and go ahead and solve this problem. So you, you know the situation. So let's assume this is X, okay? Uh, and this is three minus X, right? This is standard way to solve this. And let's solve this. Uh, so, so you you know if the light is coming from left towards right and the distance is measured in an opposite manner, it's taken to be negative. And if the light is moving in this direction and the optical center and the you know and you're measuring the distance on the right of the optical center parallel to the light. Okay, this is another important thing you need to understand that the light direction is more important than just the direction from the optical center. Light direction and the distance of the object from the optical center are in opposite direction and therefore this is negative. Just because this is on the left hand side is not enough. If, if this is on the left hand side and the light is also coming from this side, this distance would have been taken as positive. So don't worry about it at this stage. But sign convention is the heart. I have created videos on sign convention which you must watch. Let's look into the V part of it, right, which is the image. So this is a bulb image which we are referring to, right, so bulb image. This is 3 minus x, right? And this is positive because the light is traveling in this direction and the distance of the image from the optical center is also rightward. So this is rightward, this is rightward, and therefore this is taken as positive. Now your question is what is the maximum focal length allowed for you to be able to create an image on the ball? And I have already explained to you. This is a concept which pertains to minimum distance and it's a hidden way to ask the same question of minimum distance. Because the minimum distance between the two uh, which is the object and the image corresponds to a maximum focal length. Okay, we have not gone into detail. Don't worry about it. We will go and ex I will explain you what is happening. So one by v minus one by u is equal to one by f, and one by uh, three minus x minus one. This is standard, right? You can see on any platform or any anywhere. But what I explained to you, we will not find that you know all the platforms. And so this is your x minus. Uh, you know, so this has to be negative. I forgot because u is negative. We said right. So this is minus x, and uh, this is going to be three minus x. This is positive. Minus minus becomes plus. Right, so this became plus, so this will become plus three and minus three. So right? this this minus and this minus. So don't worry about it. Three minus x, and therefore you cancel this. So one by f is equal to three upon. So this is plus again. So this is uh, getting you know subtracted x and x. So left with three upon uh, three minus x into x. Right. Sorry, I have not done it very neatly, but uh, just bear with me. You know, my focus is not to solve problems and rather explain. But nonetheless, we should be careful on mathematical front also. So f is equal to x into 3 minus x upon 3. And f is equal to 3x by 3 minus x squared by 2, right? x squared by 3, I'm sorry. So this is the relationship between f and x, which is, what is x? Look into the figure carefully. x is the placement of the lens from the object, right? We're trying to find a relationship or a function between f and x. And then we, what we will do is df by dx is equal to uh, 1 minus 2x by 3, right? And this will become, uh, so you know the concept of maxima and minima. If you don't know, please go and watch my channel uh, and search for maxima and minima. I have given a playlist on physics for math mathematics for physics. Very good playlist if you want to learn a bit of maths. So put it equal to 0. You're trying to find the zeros, right? So and, and 2x upon 3 is equal to 1. x is equal to 3 by 2. Take a double derivative to test whether the 0 is you know, this is a point of maximum or minimum. Double derivative will tell you. Take derivative of this minus sign. A minus sign represents it's a maxima. So x equal to 3 by 2 corresponds to maxima. Substitute the value back here. What you get here is x into 3 minus x upon 3 is equal to 3 by 2 into 3 minus 3 by 2 upon 3 is equal to 9 by 4 uh, into 3 is equal to 3 by 4, right? So f is equal to 3 by 4 centimeters. So which means I will now again explain you the concept. How are these two related? If 
f is equal to 3 by 4 centimeter, right? If f is equal to, the, then, then, this is very important, the minimum distance, which is v plus u, has to be 4 times this, 3 by 4, right? So, and this comes out to be 3 centimeter, right? This is the way the articulation, this is the minimum distance. But the trick given in the NCRT question is, they have used, they have not used the word minimum distance. What they've done is they've converted this to maximum focal length, which means, you know, if you, if you have this focal length, you know, which is available to you, it corresponds to the minimum distance. So the maximum focal length, which is possible for this situation, for a minimum distance of three centimeters is reverse. So if, if the, if the minimum distance is V plus U, the focal length available is F, right? This is the, uh, if the minimum distance is V plus U, it is four times F. Right? And if you want to find the maximum focal length, right? if you want to find the maximum focal length, do it with the help of V plus U by 4 and put V is equal to U. So you will get a F max is equal to half of the focal length, right? which is uh, if you just put it as 2U by 4, you will get U by 2. So U is equal to 2 times F max. right? So one and the same thing, right? So you can, you know the minimum distance, you know the focal length now. If you put, put U, is, U will be 3 by 2, V will be 3 by 2. You add these two, what you will get is 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is equal to 3 centimeter. So this is a, a bit of a tricky question. Here the hidden trick was no one explained you the concept of minimum distance. The minimum distance that should exist between the two, which is object and the image, for, for the image to get formed on the wall. If you don't have this minimum distance available, you cannot have the image formed. This is one. So you need a bare minimum distance and that bare minimum distance condition results in V is equal to U plus 2F. This is one you have to remember. And the second one is this is the minimum distance. And then the relationship between V and U for maximizing the focal length, you maximize the focal length is this. So I hope this made sense and you're able to appreciate some part of this question. And, and I think the maths was not too difficult for you. If you don't understand maximum minimum, go and watch my playlist. You will be able to understand it. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day.